Well, we got a little something different today. On the boiling point, we've got Scott Lynch, president of the American Boiler Manufacturers Association with us. We're going to be interviewing him a little bit about Boiler 2022. Looking forward to being with you. Why don't you take us through um, uh, the actual show itself and what it's going to be like? You talked a little bit about yeah. it, but it's a two-day show. Yeah, so, so. so first of all, we, we, we said on every show that has three days, the third day is pretty dead, yes. right? Yes. So, and <laughs> we know we are, we are establishing a show, so we're not going to be as large as we will be in a number of years. Mm -hmm. So we felt mm -hmm. a two-day show what, what was, was good for both the, both the end users and the exhibitors, right? It's a, it's a shorter time, a shorter commitment. Um, so we have two days of the show. The dates of the show are April 11th through 13th. Mm -hmm. The show dates are the 12th and the 13th. The 11th has an opening reception. Um, and then there'll be a, there's a keynote presentation um, uh, the first morning. We have a former um, head of the, the, Chris Cassidy, who was the former head of the US, uh, the International Space Station. Oh, wow. Uh, he was also a Navy SEAL. Okay. I'm not sure how many people are out in the world uh, commanded a, an International Space Station <laughs> and a Navy SEAL. It seems like it's a pretty uh, unique thing. Yes. Um, but we have him as our keynote. And then we sprinkled in um, the show times, but we tried to make it so the show times were the show times when you're in the show. Okay. And outside of that, we have educational opportunities. So we'll have concurrent sessions on the topics that I mentioned. We're talking about like 45 minutes to an hour deep dives with experts in the boiler industry talking about different topics. Yeah. As I mentioned, water treatment, decarbonization, you know, all of those topics that we think are relevant, <coughs> our members have said are relevant to them. Then you add in that we're doing a couple other things. We're gonna have an ask the expert session mm. in the exhibit hall, okay? Yeah. So this is gonna be like an ask the boiler technician, mm -hmm. ask the boiler engineer, ask the, um, the boiler inspector. It's an opportunity for, a, for somebody to sit in, sit in and just listen to like, what are the questions? What, what are the things that people don't know or would like to know more about? Right. They're quick sessions. They're gonna be 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. We'll have some canned questions and then we're gonna open it up to the audience but we're trying to engage people in a dialogue. Mm -hmm. We don't want it just to be that we're talking to them. We mm -hmm. want this to be a, an opportunity for them to share what they want to learn from us and from us to share what we think they need to, they need to learn about running a boiler room and how we can help them. Mm -hmm. that's, that's really the goal in the end, right? Yeah, yeah. The goal in the end is to create safe boiler rooms, mm -hmm. to create boiler rooms that are energy efficient, yep. and, and, try to, and also, in some ways, also save the money. Yeah. There are a number of projects that we hear about all the time where they doubled production and reduced the foot carbon footprint. Right, right. And, th and it happens all the time. Yeah, and because boilers last for a long time, right. right? People kind of inherit a boiler room and then the boss says, give me steam. Right. And they just yep. keep giving steam. Well, and, and, and the other yeah. part of that is that they keep doing the same thing that they were doing before, that's, right? That's right. So whatever the guy before, whatever the guy before him told him to do yeah. and, and what to check and what to do, that's and what that's he's it. doing. Yeah, and, that, and that's why we really created, you know, Wear Boiler University. Right. I mean, it's for that that's very right. reason. That's and right. I know that our guys are actually going to be down there to be able yep. to talk a little bit at some of these yeah, workshops. Yeah, and so, so we actually have a pre-conference workshop that's that's being led by the by the guys at Boiler University. Yeah, uh, which is on uh, boilers and their types. Yeah, uh, and so so the idea behind it is if you come to the session, they're going to focus on like what is the best. Um, kinds of boilers for your specific application. Mm -hmm. And we think that marries so perfectly with the show because if you go to the pre-conference workshop and you understand a little bit more about my application and then what boilers are probably best for my app, and it might not be the boiler you have in your room, right. in your boiler room, it might not right. be the right one, right. or it could be like a variation on that, then you walk through the show and you kind of have more knowledge of, of how that interacts, right? And, sure. and why, and also why. Why is this boiler probably a better option for us than it was before? And it also could be, and I hear this a lot, that some of the processing changed yeah. on your end, right? right? So you have a boiler that was set up, and then the process changed or something changed, or you're having a different product come through, and that different product that's coming through doesn't need that same, doesn't have that same application, so yeah. then you have to kind of shift and you're and you're probably losing out a lot on that. Too. Oh yeah, yeah. There's yeah. no doubt. Um, well, now I know you've got um, quite a few companies that have decided to also have some rental boilers. Actually, there. yeah, yeah. So this is really cool. So um, 
we've been trying to do some end user tours yeah. um, and we had a couple of uh, lined up but due to the you know the covid pandemic and even though we're coming out of it um, you know the hospital is not excited about having 100 people walk through the hospital right, right at this point right. <laughs> so so we were thinking like what we want to give a unique experience to people and how sure. do we do that right mm -hmm. so one of the conversations that we had was well, what about if we bring some mobile units in, right? Mm -hmm. And and uh, and where you know you guys are going to participate in, mm -hmm. in a number of our other rental companies. And mm -hmm. so so we're going to have a parking lot in or the back parking lot of the hotel. We're going to have three to four units set up for people to tour. Yeah. And uh, and the goal is, and you guys are going to work together to make sure we have a variety of units back there. But I'm, I'm sure that most people have never seen. Many people have never seen a mobile unit. Um, it's also really amazing to walk into a mobile unit and see all the components that go together with it because sometimes when you're in a boiler room that's a regular structure you don't you can't really tell what's really going into everything right. but when you walk into a mobile unit yeah it's and it's, it's, like, it's kind of like this yeah, behind it's us right there it's like <laughs> wow, oh that's where the deer raider is that's how it's going through mm -hmm. and the and the companies will be able to kind of walk you through how it, how it works and yeah. what it does yeah. and i think that the other thing that we wanted to to, uh, to share was the misconception that the only time you need a mobile boiler, you might need a mobile boiler, is when something breaks down. Right. That there are other reasons to have a mobile boiler, where mm -hmm. you might have a spike in a season, mm -hmm. you know, where you might have a, uh, you know, planned downtime. I'm telling you because you, you, know, you know all this. <laughs> yeah. But but the truth is is that there's ways to think about that, and we wanted to bring something kind of unique to the show, and so we think that's something that people are really going to enjoy. Yeah, there's no no doubt. The rental industry is an exciting industry, and and I don't mind if you mention some of the guys that are going to be there. Oh, so. yeah, so so the other ones that, that, that have confirmed, Nationwide has confirmed to have yeah. to have one, Powerhouse has confirmed to have one, mm -hmm. um, and, um, and Cleaver Brooks, and Cleaver, Cleaver Brooks Sales and Service, yeah. 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 So, and, and we might have a couple might other have rental couple guys other. that okay. have there, but but it's really cool. I mean, th these are really impressive, um, <laughs> big. I mean, I don't, yeah. I don't think people understand that either. Yeah. Uh, some of these, these are, these are huge trailer size uh, boilers. And, right. You know, and there, there's a variety of reasons why you would need a, a mobile unit, but um, to be able to bring everybody together like that is kind of cool. I, what I think is cool is that you actually pointed out the deaerator and you knew exactly where to look. Oh, I did. Yeah. So. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's only taken me seven years yeah, to figure out where right. to look for the deaerator. But, but you uh, came to Boiler University. That's right. I did. So I was you, here. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I would say that that was one of the one of the key things when I joined up, when I talked with the board about what, what that they said, they said, you know, go down to where and just sit, just sit through the class. And, and within 10 minutes, I was lost. I yeah. mean, I, I'm not yeah. going to lie to you. Right. But it was great to be able to do the hands-on thing, too, and see the process. And, and, uh, and it really helped me. It, it definitely gave me a leg up. I, yeah. I, I, I would have been lost for even longer had I not, you know, done that. And that was great. And we appreciate you letting me come down. No, loved having you. The boiler industry is so important to our country, to yeah. our world. People don't really realize that. They just think that these things are just putting out a ton of pollution. I know, and, yeah. And you know, they don't realize that 80% of all products yeah. are touched by steam at some point. Right, right. I mean, and that in some cases, the, uh, the, what's, going, what's going out is, is cleaner than what's going in. That's exactly Because right. of all the water treatment and everything that we have to do to a boiler so it doesn't get destroyed. So no, there's a exact, lot of, yeah. exactly right. 